next story. Dan H, you told me to watch this video. I watched this video. I think this is a video you told me to watch, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Dan H, you asked how much time uh, is spent, uh, the, how much do you make Aaron's life difficult uh, editing videos? I actually do respond to comments in between the, the video, so uh, it's not that disruptive. But here, you've got a whole topic that is from you now. Uh, this is a good video and a good YouTube channel. Uh, Mayuko something or other. Um, she lives, she's an American Japanese, I believe both, maybe born in Japan or certainly Japanese parents, but growing up, she's American. She lives, she works and lives in Silicon Valley. She's never uh, worked in Japan. Um, but uh, so she sort of gave all that setup to her take on how the IT industry in Japan sort of fell behind Silicon Valley. And I kind of thought, oh, okay, this is going to be basically like, a, you know, uh, I, it started me with a very negative predisposition, thinking this is just going to be kind of an amateur take from someone who's a Nikkei, who feels like they know about Japan, but has never actually worked here, and is going to give kind of stereotype views of IT in Japan, which some of which are, are probably accurate. But, uh, but that said, the video is really, really good. Um, she actually focuses on interviewing a lot of people from the IT industry in Japan, albeit people who are in Silicon Valley who are from Japan. So, you know, there's a bit of a positive bias towards Silicon Valley and so on. And particularly, she's got a little bit of an overinflated view of the position of Mercari, which albeit admittedly is the first uh, unicorn in Japan. But of course, when you're in Silicon, you know, if you, unicorn is like the success standard in Japan, there's only one unicorn, but yet there's a bunch of successful IT companies. So I think she sort of overblows some things a little bit. She sort of ignores altogether the fact that um, she focused on negative IT culture in Japan as being very much the uh, the IT culture in places like NEC that we're talking about right here, places like that. Um, the big IT companies. Um, I used to work at a big IT company as well, doing enterprise IT in Japan, like system building for Japanese companies sucks it's horrible and everything that the commenter said and that her stereotypes were sort of about were pretty much accurate and I, I endorse them and that's the world that I sort of work in that said there are a ton of pretty successful uh, and creative Japanese startups the idea that they don't exist is, is wrong um, and, and they're often generated by frustrated engineers who start out in those big companies and realize how miserable it is and go and set up their own businesses. And there are there is a startup culture in Japan. I mean, measuring it by the standards of Silicon Valley, even most places in America would fail. However, it was a, um, yeah, I, I thought it was a really well presented, well thought out. She did a lot of interviews for it, and it's a good video, and you should go watch it, Why Japan Fell Behind in the Tech Industry. Um, yeah, I, I, by the way, I, I left a comment on it I, I i subscribe to the channel i'm endorsing the video here i have critiques of it which i wrote which you can read in the comments there it's, it's long it's probably it's slightly obnoxious <laughs> but it's a good video and i highly recommend watching it and i thank dan h for the recommendation for this so go and check that out